Hey guys, Aqueous here. I want to show you guys a little project I've been doing. Look at that. Eh? Eh? Home gym, baby. Quite the opposite of fancy. Sus, even, some might say. My dad, my dad gave me these old plates uh, in this bar, too. This bar goes hard. And more plates, two more 25s, two more 10s, and five, odd number, I think there's supposed to be six, more fives. Also, it has two dumbbell attachments, and of course it has those, and that, and that, to keep it on the side. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, I use this pretty often. Uh, the bar, obviously a standard bar, it is about 45 pounds, and then I got 25 here and 25 here, so I've been doing about 95 pound benches. I can do about 12 before I get tired. Lifting weights alone in my basement, especially without like insanely good, insanely like up-to-date equipment, uh, more heavier equipment, I don't wanna you know push myself too far into the realm of uh, I don't know, danger. My friend Sean, uh, who used to be our roommate, he got the bench, obviously. Um, I would have gotten a bench if he didn't at this point because obviously the bench is super needed, super required. Uh, we got this, we got the wheel for the abs. I got some five pounders that uh, were left over in my house. My mom had them. Uh, try to ignore the, the sound in the back. Hopefully it's not too obnoxious. Uh, it's actually the, the washing machine washing my work clothes. <clears throat> from a full-time job you know how it be um, the carpets here a very vital a very vital piece of any gym of course that is half or fully I guess rocks I got a 12 pound ball I actually don't remember if that was me or someone else that got that um, my buddy Sean also got this actually I think I got this this is my heater something else I pulled out um, before I restarted the video again. Uh, it's like a little cardio machine. It's pretty cool. It's supposed to go under your desk. Problem is that if I use it actually under my desk, the, uh, my knees just hit the top of my desk. My, my desk isn't tall enough, unfortunately. Of course, over here, also started doing a little project, and I was like, hey, why am I not recording it? Uh, seems a little goofy. Um, so yeah, this is, a uh, this is... A dip rack that I'm making. Oh, almost fell. Uh, just pulled out the pieces. I found out that it has literally no directions. It has no directions anywhere. So, uh, I'm just kind of winging it. So, yeah. I'm just winging it. Hopefully this is a good position for you guys. No? All right, a little picky, what you think? Got a little pen here, because I have the S23 Ultra. So I can just tap this, I'm pretty sure it stops the recording. I don't want to test it right now, but uh, that's pretty cool, pretty neat. Um, hopefully it's gonna, you know, that, that would be something cool to allow me to maybe make more videos like this down here. Uh, but yeah, right now, you guys get to watch me make a dip rack with no instructions. So that's pretty cool. Alright, I'm gonna have to see what this is all about here. Okay, it's the same thing as all the other ones. Assume. Obviously, for a uh, B2. It keeps saying B2. I can't find anything that's B2. There's no B2. Unless that has B2 or something. But I have no idea. Getting a little worried here. But we'll figure it out. Unless this says B2? No. None of the screws or anything say anything. We have this attached, and I know that it goes like this. I just, okay. I just know that also this 
And oh, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say I know that this and then this other one here is supposed to connect, but I see how that works now. Okay, so I have to make the other one now like this. Oh man, I think I already messed up. I think this one's supposed to be on the inside. So that those can go on the inside. I'm pretty sure that that's the case. solid pretty solid uh, now we just have to build the other one it's pretty interesting that this thing comes with uh, with no directions I I've never seen that but we ball our regularly scheduled program is to ball I'm not sure how loudly I have to talk for my voice to come through on this thing so I'm just kind of yelling hope y'all can okay there we go Hope you guys can hear me. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. All right, I'm doing this. This is probably smarter. That's how I did the other one. And now I just kind of hold this, this thing steady with the back of my head. So I can make sure I'm aligning these right. I'm like, I'm like in, I think. Hold on, where the hell is, where'd I put it? My screwer. Oh, we're good. Saved. So, this is probably the oddest, strangest, home gym I've ever seen in your life. I unfortunately can't really go all out here because we rent this place. If I could and I had permission from my lovely girlfriend of almost six years now soon to be wife well soon to be fiance once I get around to, you know, popping that question, you know, asking the, asking the words. Of course, with her permission, I would be able to go a little bit more all out and things could be a little bit more stable down here. But for now, this is what it is because we rent and that's okay. Hey, look at that. Came with an extra, whatever the hell those are called, washer, I think. Speaking of washers, I mean, mine's almost got to be done, right? All right, let's just spin these around. I think everybody should have a home gym. This is one of the ways I'm, you know, I'm trying to better myself, better my life. Avoid the commute to the gym, which I feel like is just one more barrier that always prevents me from consistently going, especially with having, you know, a side hustle and content create, well, a side hustle that is this content creation stuff while also having a full-time job, 40 hours a week, uh, 10 hour shifts. And then also just, you know, like I said, just in general trying to eat better, cook my meals, invest in this home gym with what I with what I can make, you know, with what I can do. Reasonably, of course. Alright. So now what I figured out, right, is that here, whoops. Where am I even pointing? Okay, yeah, right here, this is a hole. And then this thing is where the screw goes in. This big boy, this big daddy goes in to hold let's find it it's right behind me this thing 
this. So yeah, and then this one also has a hole. So I figured that out. I don't need directions. And that's why you never need directions, okay? If anyone ever says you need directions, they're just lying to you. How close should I put these two together? I guess it's probably just about whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, I have to see. Oof. I think this feels really good. That feels really good. That is a good distance. I kind of guessed it and I don't know, it just feels really good. You know, I think I'm actually going to make this a separate video from my my home gym tour. You have to do a little bit of editing to get there. But I think this is a little funny. It's supposed to be like a funny little home gym tour vlog thing. But I was like, ah, oh, this will be fun, I think. And it kind of turned into this. Oh, wait, does this pull out? Oh, my God. It Guys. This ball pulls out so you can actually pull and adjust. That makes so much sense. That's actually really cool. I think we got it together, boys. We got it to together. I think we did it. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. That looks like a beast down here. That is huge. That is like, I mean, that's a... That's a pretty nice piece of equipment. That's it. Oh yeah, I got some, I had some um, resistance bands up there. I was planning on getting a jump rope. Whatever. Yeah, I was planning on getting a jump rope, but um, the the ceiling is too, like, like I, I can easily touch the ceiling. Um, <clears throat> this is also just a 40 pound bar that like we we just pretty much keep it in bar form all the time um just because it's just a 40 pound bar it, it's good for uh doing other kind of exercises with the bar like backwards hand curls like where you put the bar in both of your hands and do that that gets a part of your muscles even 40 pounds is pretty effective there because it's not a muscle you use often it's something i learned uh watching sam Selleck. but overall i mean it's warming up a little bit in my gym, it's really, really cold down here right now. It is pretty much always what the outside temperature is down here because we have no insulation. We're underground, rock, cement basement. That is literally just a piece of wood. And then there's the outside of the house. Yeah. Um, yeah. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with this thing. Always keep emergency nuts with you when you're working out. Um, probably like a top thing that you want with you. So let's get a little bit of a workout with this thing. Let's see. I might embarrass myself, if I'm being honest. I've never used a dip rack before. Yeah. That is going to be an effective workout. I feel a lot of burn whenever I do that. That's actually really hard for me to do. It shows that this thing is going to work um, for what I want it to work for, obviously. Uh, just a good workout overall is the goal, of course. I'm, I'm currently starting my journey to a lot of self-improvement and stuff like that. I want to I wanna better my life. I want to be consistent on the content. I want to be consistent down here in this home gym. I think that's really important. I just want to be doing a little bit better mentally as well. Um, I'm actually taking less hours at work. Um, not because I'm delusional or think that if I take less hours off of work, I'm magically going to like get big in content. That's not the idea. That is definitely not recommended, right? It's good to keep stability in your life. And I'm an assistant manager where I work, so, you know, but I am taking a little bit reduced hours. It's kind of get my mental right and work on myself for a bit. It was more just a mental health decision that I made. But furthering my aspirations in creating content and being down here in the gym and cooking meals that are healthy and tracking what I'm eating and stuff like that and just getting better sleep. Um, 
be a little more disciplined with the sleep schedule. I talked about this a decent bit, maybe a little bit. I'd say more in depth. We definitely went over a lot of points, repeated some stuff a few times. Um, on the Duo Q podcast, which is a podcast that me and my friend Matrana started. I mean, my buddy Nick that lives with me, he's my roommate. He's been my best friend for 16 years. We did the math. We did the math before we started episode one. And we recorded it. It's over two and a half hours long. Um, if you just want something on while you're sleeping, something to actually listen to, or to you know, listen to while you're working or something like that, that would be awesome. That would be really awesome. Just look up Duo Q Podcast on YouTube. You'll find it. We're also on TikTok. Uh, we're on Instagram. For some reason, our account got instantly banned on Instagram, but we're trying to appeal that. So it sh- we should have an Instagram. We also have a Twitter. Uh, we're doing the whole nine for that. Um, it's really exciting. And then this video is obviously scuffed as hell, but really fun to make, actually. But that's that's what's going on in my life right now. I'm just yapping currently. I'm going to clean all this stuff up from the dip rack. I'm going to move the dip rack somewhere I feel like it's it has a better place um, because it's kind of right in the middle of the mats here. It's a really scuffed setup. It's really low budget, but it's cool. I really like it down here. So subscribe, like, comment. Thank you. Peace.